one good, one bad, yeah, they're really always like this. We don't know who's who, but at least we know who my kids. They love to complain, they go sports on the brain, and they frequently drive each other insane. It's the good and the bad and the my yeah yeah The good and the bad and the my yeah yeah The good and the bad and the my yeah yeah It's the good and the bad and the my yeah 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 Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Good, The Bad and The Mike. As always, I'm Oshin, that's Kean. Woo! And that's Mike. Woo! Third time's the charm. Nailed Woo. it. What um, do you mean? This is definitely the first time. This is Yeah, this is definitely the first time we've started recording. We've had no technical issues whatsoever. Uh, a bit of housekeeping before we kick things off. There will be no episode next week because I will <laughs> not be in the country on monday um because i'm going to the hungarian grand prix which you never know so, maybe, um, maybe we'll talk about it in the next episode yeah not doing not do it. Do it. Fun an episode from it <laughs> oh she has it yeah <laughs> is that the other car i am not breaking not looking my laptop all the way over um haven't said uh, that someone, someone put in a list you know the the way venues do this list of like what you're allowed to bring in and what you're not allowed to bring in um someone put the list a screenshot yeah. of that list into the group chat and um the hungaro ring limits people to bringing three sandwiches per person <laughs> oh <laughs> i really please bring four sandwiches <laughs> Just to see if anything happens. I really want to know, yeah, I really want to know if there's a story better. behind that. <laughs> this one guy brought four sandwiches and then he just went absolutely off the wall and they went, it's the sandwiches' fault. Three, he would have been fine. Four is the limit. Three sandwiches per person. <laughs> but can you bring four and then your mate bring two and be like, oh, he's taking one of my sandwiches. Yeah, I see, that's what I was thinking. Like, can I bring... Eight and just walk in with a group of people and be like, "No, I'm bringing sandwiches for yeah. all these people." Um, you have to hand them out to, to walk past security yeah, each and then, holding three sandwiches. Like, nice try there, and you know, escort you to the back, bring you to a side room. <laughs> I also saw the the gif of. Um... Did you ever watch Recess? Yes. yes. You know the Rando. No, the heavy guy is it Mike? Uh, Mike? Mike. Mike. Mikey. Yeah. Mike. Mike. Mikey. Mikey. There's I found a gif of him eating like a fucking massive sandwich. It's like <laughs> ten <laughs> layers high. It was like it's only one sandwich. So actually, yeah, that is true. If you get like a foot long, yeah. one sandwich. So yeah, three I don't foot know how long. they how they police this, but they have. If you look into the terms and conditions, there is definition of a sandwich. Ooh. Um, but yeah, so that's why there'll be no episode next week. Uh, we might talk about it the week after. Because you might get arrested for breaking the rules. Um, I will be back on Tuesday night, late Tuesday night, because I have to spend the night in Vienna. I say I have to. It's just cheaper. <laughs> yeah, that way. I'm like, oh, you bass. Oh, yeah. you poor thing. <laughs> oh, it sucks to be me. Um, that's provided you get home by yourself. That is, yes. I mean... Given that uh, one of my friends at the French Grand Prix missed the whole thing because he just had to go to the hospital, he suffered heat stroke. Um, I'm just hoping that it's not too hot when I'm over there. Is camping a regular thing at Formula One events? Yeah, yeah. Are you camping? No. Oh. We're staying. In, we got an Airbnb in Budapest. Uh, we only Is have tickets to, to the around? Sunday, Sunday race instead of weekend. Ah. Uh. The other um, one, you have full weekend yes, tickets. Yes, in you? Belgium, we full weekend tickets. Oh, we're going. Uh, yeah, tickets for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, but then we're staying in an Airbnb. In the so yeah. if we get you a good, the bad, and the mic T-shirt, can you get one of the drivers to sign up? <laughs> Ask him to be a friend of the pod. Ask yeah, sure. Leclerc after he crashes out. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's K Mag. Everyone goes K-Mag. to the That's K Mag. I do love K Mag. I love K Mag. I did um, that, in, in my F122 career mode. I was like, I'm going to drive for Haas. I'm going to keep K Mag around. Yeah. So I replaced Mick Schumacher. <laughs> I felt bad about it because I like Mick as well. No, you, you, can't, you can't get rid love of Mick. I love K Mag. 
I mean, I didn't see Mick finishing third in his second race of the season, so you know, I'm pretty sure they made a good choice. That's very fair. Does have points now, though? It does have points, which is fantastic. Oh, I mean, we're after Hungary. We've got a month off because it's a summer break. Yeah, I do like that you're recap. going to back, back races yeah, and uh, it's just... a month between them. Do we do the recap then of how it's gone? I mean, we could. Well, yeah, you yeah, mid season, yeah. mid season showdown, a mid season update. As long as I get to see the race, then I don't mind doing a recap. Uh, if I if <laughs> I, mean, I pass lies. out with heat stroke. We're not talking about it. Like to machine on the race. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> I thought there was a safety car yet. <laughs> no, I saw him enter the pits, but I thought they were just changing his tires. <laughs> Turns out, oh, she wasn't even in the section. He's been just watching the motorway go by. Going, wow. <laughs> <laughs> These are not as fast as I thought they were. <laughs> when are they coming back? <laughs> Right, to the main topic. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> fair. Um, oh, t- I mean, also, as a bit of housekeeping, um, as of like 20 minutes ago, uh, Pod on Tour <laughs> might be happening again. <laughs> Featuring special guests. Featuring special guests. <laughs> 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 Literally, as of twenty minutes guess. ago, when yeah. we went, we might go to the NFL London, and then went. All right, let's book everything now. Everything is never. <laughs> I mean, we, yeah, it was one of those where we all said, "All right, someone has to make the decision." I don't mind. And then Mike uh, just went, "All right, click by." And I guess we're in. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're in. <laughs> I mean, I'm all for it. So I am now quite hyped for it. Uh, so that isn't is that far pretty, away to be fair. Hype news. It's not. It's uh, last yeah. weekend of October. Yeah, for any camps. So Halloween. Back. <laughs> Halloween. Yeah. Oh my god, Halloween! <laughs> can't wait. Can't wait to be heading back to the train after the match and <laughs> I hear Keen shout out. <laughs> Who's <laughs> this, this bitch? bitch? <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't even that close to me either. That's the worst part. <laughs> Or uh, making fun of someone's dog, saying, This is just some common bitch. Funny, I think. <laughs> she seemed to laugh, but uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Or, or me um, getting soldier boy by yeah. some random person. <laughs> yes. It's going to be an exciting I think about her often. I hope she's okay. I just don't understand any of them who were out that early like it's fucking no mid- it was a mad bad you're thing. they're twisted already yeah, but like, this week yourselves. this time they're going to be halloween so it's going to be extra i extra think the early. big thing is do we join what in film, what's the film we're going to watch I mean, sure after we watch the ad- the ads in america <laughs> yeah that's true what, <laughs> what what ads will they show us um, yeah all right but anyway uh, yeah, yeah so that, i thought that was exciting news that i wanted to share with the listeners um yes i meant to make sure it was okay to share before we started recording and then i i forgot and then i was like all right i'll just go for it, <laughs> it <went laughs> I, anyway. can't, I can't message them <clears throat> that it takes he's too going long, rogue so let's go for it so yeah <laughs> yeah we're 10 minutes in actually extra housekeeping um so yeah it's pretty hype uh anyway on to our first episode first no hold on no Give me two seconds. Main story, main topic of tonight, our only topic of tonight. Uh, Barcelona. Why are they so shit? <laughs> Discuss. Anyone got any thoughts on Barcelona's current situation? Uh, how the fuck are they doing it all? <laughs> yeah, I mean... You're um, just a hater. Yes, that's very true. Barcelona, we talked about this a, a number of times last year. Yes. Yeah. Um, are just in a shocking spot financially. Uh, were last year as well. Managed to get through and had a, like a decent season. They got knocked out. Of yeah, they came but, second. Um, which wasn't great for them. But they had a decent season in the league. Um, finishing second, uh, thirteen points behind Real, and only two points ahead of Atletico. So, but 
Not then bright, you look not at terrible. It, look yeah. at it again this year and you're like, what the fuck are they doing, you know? They've got deferred wages, players deferred wages um, that they need to pay back. They've got a ton of debt and they're going out and buying aging stars like Lewandowski. That's um, best way to do it. I mean, Go down swinging. That's see, the say. Lewandowski one, if we start with that one, that one out of all the transfers they've made makes no sense to me because, fair enough, fantastic player. And, all right, at his age, there's a question mark. But the thing I don't understand is they spent the money on Aubameyang in January and now Aubameyang seems just to be surplus to requirements six months later. Mm. It's a strange That's... one. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and probably did, did well for them. It wasn't like he was underperforming. And Levin Goldski, as Thomas Muller called him, uh, is 33. <laughs> and they spent 45 million on him. Now, apparently, the thing is that he's like, his wages are relatively cheap. He's taken really cheap wages so that he could play. Was, was he the one? Because I heard apparently. Barcelona trying to buy someone from Bayern and Bayern didn't want to sell them because they weren't sure they'd actually be able to pay them. That, that is Lewandowski. Yes. Oh, okay. Surprise then it's only 40, 45 million? 45 million. I think, I think, isn't there, did they have a strange clause? Or oh, no, it's the Rafinha clause, I think. <laughs> is if they cannot pay the money by... Pay. Uh, no, they cannot pay the money by in three years, the price goes up by 20%. How does that help anything? Yeah, it doesn't. It's just that's it. If they just what are they loan <laughs> sharks? Pretty much. They just come and start taking seats from their stadiums. Like we're going to take seventy see, million. This worth is of seats. where I don't see how FIFA or UEFA get involved. And say this isn't really all right. What you are doing. I know we have financial fair play. Isn't it the stock clubs going into administration? Yeah, but if they're meeting the financial fair play, then there's not much UEFA can do. Um, but how loose are these? Because these financial fair play rules just seem to make no sense. They seem very loose. Like if this yeah, was I a mean, different team in Spain, I guarantee there would be tougher sanctions. I don't know about that, to be honest. But um, like Barcelona have been doing things to move around debt and bring money in. Like they had, uh, I was, they managed to restructure. Uh, a ton of debt from like they had 596 million euro due to be repaid within 12 months that they managed to restructure into a 10 year 595 million euro loan at 1.98 percent so Mm. it's not due within the next year but it's like there's some huge money in there Um, yeah it's a lot of debt they apparently they sold fifteen percent, I think, of their TV rights last week. I did see something. Yeah, about that, yeah. Um, sorry, and Not there, an I additional fifteen saw... percent as well is what the Barcelona report says. So I, I don't know how much they had previously yeah. sold. I did see from that though that fifty percent TV deal. As far as I know, it doesn't include Champions League. It's right. just La Liga TV rights. So, I assume the Champions League rights is so, wait, way more lucrative than La Liga, but I could be wrong. But do Barcelona hold the TV rights and not like La Liga themselves? Well, it's La Liga are the ones who negotiate the deal, but obviously then that's paid out to the clubs. So, it's 15% right. of whatever Barcelona would be paid out now goes to... Oh. Uh, Sixth Street News, I believe they. Oh. It's who Barcelona added in their tweet. Interesting. Um. Yeah, they must be in serious shambles for cash if they're doing that. Yeah, because that's a lot of money. I don't know how much they managed to sell to get for the that fifteen million. Um, yeah. But. It's an interesting one from both sides. Do you think Barcelona now tank 
tank the price of the TV deal just so that it looks like they made a good deal and then end up losing money overall because then they just get less TV deal. It wouldn't surprise me. It's a very poorly so. run club. They had a 555 million euro loss in their 2021 accounts. Their current activity transfer. Yeah, the current transfer activity has them at minus 72 million. Sorry, yes, the 50, 555 million euro <laughs> loss was in 2021. Um, which is the highest loss ever reported by a football club. Jesus. So not surprising. Um, Swiss Ramble have a very interesting Twitter thread about it, which I will link in the description of this video uh, or this oh, cool. episode. And it's just that they go into a lot of uh, details about it. Uh, essentially about Barcelona's financial position if anyone cares to any highlights you want to to bring up that's where I've been pulling my my figures from you mainly um the 555 million loss was that's part of it uh the bit about the loan the short term to long term debt but it's you know it's just kind of insane to see a club mm take on so much debt, have such big losses, and then still go out and spend 45 million euro on a 33-year-old striker that you don't really need. Yeah. Um, Is it an attempt to just sell a bunch of jerseys to raise money? I no. Don't, I don't think, I think they're so. They're Ronaldo effect. No. Um, and then, like, the Rafinha deal was done for a few days and like all the announcements were the Rafinha deal is agreed and done on the condition that Barcelona are actually able to register him. You know, like, that shouldn't mm. even be a question. If you're going to go out and buy a player, you should be going, oh, I don't know if we'll it, be able to register yeah. him. It's the second year in a row that they have had summer signings that are still yet to be able to be registered. Like it's off the way. What happened last so year? They have Christensen from Chelsea and Frank Kessie from Milan are still waiting to be registered. Both <laughs> those came in on free transfers. Um, and yet they're not done. They're still being linked with um, the saw reports that they want to buy. Kunde from. Yeah, and as Piliqueta from Chelsea. Um, hmm. Another aging player. I mean, he he's. I don't know, like, he was a great player, but what age is uh... Cesar Azpilicueta? Cesar Azpilicueta is 32 now. And I mean, I don't know, it just doesn't... Might see him again in London this year. Oh, could do. Um, you never know. Mm. And then, obviously, do you want to, well, since we're shooting at Barcelona... Can we talk about the Diog situation? Is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. That's an absolute sure. joke. Um, oh, it's so bad. So, do you, do you know much of what's going on with uh, uh, Diog? It might come to me as you're talking about it, but I can't think of it now. So, United were interested in buying Frankie Diog. Um, right. Which, first off, if you're gonna sell, if you're gonna buy in all these old players. Don't sell off your young players then. Like then you're just kicking the can down the road. But anyway, United wanted to buy Frankie De Jong for I think like eighty million or something, and Barcelona yeah. were like accepting that they were ready for him to go, and he doesn't yeah. want to go. But he took deferred wages during the pandemic to help Barcelona, so they actually owe him like seventeen million. Seventeen million. Euros <laughs> in deferred wages, and from the sounds of things, it sounded like they wanted him to go, but also to not pay, not pay, Seven. not take uh... the deferred wages. Like, except I think they, from what I heard, they were offering him like three million of the deferred wages, and then going, that's it, take yeah. that and leave. And he said, yeah, no, no, he wants to stay. Yeah. Um, yeah, which is a, no, so it's a bit of a shit show. That's a bit of ki kicking the teeth. 
And a number of players have taken those kind of deferred wage oh, deals. Really? Actually, yeah. yes, there's a new one there. It also goes to a new low. Oh, she not the Diog one. Oh, yeah? There's so much trying to get rid of him that they even are playing him at centre-back and say, yeah, I think that's the position he can play this year. That's how low it's gotten. They're forcing him to play centre-back now and say, yeah, if you don't sign this, we will. Where is we he will actually playing? Sure. Centre midfield. He's a midfielder. Mm, fair. What is their position? Like, like, oh, I'm just looking at their centre back situation here. Did they not get for the not PK? Horrific. They still have PK. Uh, uh, Gigi. Um, Gigi's retired. Gigi gone, is isn't still he? there, but he's he's, he's he hasn't played. Has he not? No, they're looking to get rid of him. Hmm. Um. They have Eric Garcia and Andreas Christensen, obviously. Yeah, and um, Kunde if they get him. And Ronald Arauco. I, I probably butchered his name. Um, who I feel like I've heard a good bit about. Um, yeah, he's got 59 appearances in La Liga. So... It's not like they're short at centre back. I don't think that's the point. It's not that they're short at centre back. The point of pushing him out. Yeah. Yes. No. I know. Yeah. But it's not even that they could say they could make the argument that they need him to play centre back. Like it's oh, it's okay. just blatantly obvious that it's a. Uh... I don't know. As Liverpool fans, you should understand the importance of having seven or eight deep at centre back. <sighs> that is true. That's a bit of a low blow. <laughs> it is. Didn't enjoy that one. I did. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Because um... they don't have an owner, right? They just have a bunch of fans who pay the annual fees or something. Do they still go by that? I know Spanish I... teams, a lot of them do that. Uh, I believe so, yes. they don't. Ha- they, I know they don't have an owner, yeah. I think it is just... Um, fees, mm. I believe. Might be trying to drum up some more damage. All right, sorry, this is something that's been annoying me while I've been staring at the Barcelona team on Wikipedia. Yeah. They have a third captain and a fourth captain. That's too many captains. I'm sorry. I don't... The captain and vice captain, sure, but a third and fourth captain, that's too many captains. Who are their I'm third sorry. and fourth captains? Sergi Roberto and Jordi Alba. I was, I'm sorry, it's irritating. It's too much power. Like, what the fuck are you going to do as a fourth captain except for feel a little bit special? No, that's yeah. too many captains. Yeah, that is just 100% too many captains. Not okay with it. But, um... Yeah, so I think, essentially, I don't know if the contracts for... Um, Lewandowski or then Rafinha or any of them were announced but yeah. um, I know Rafinha was on poor wages in like he was on low wages at Leeds I think he also took low wages at Barca because that was his preferred destination yeah oh fair fair because right, so, I know Elsie had a bid for him and he was just not going <laughs> I think he wanted Barca from the start. I mean, I, I kind of get that, but... Just a bit strange at the minute, considering they do seem to be like a sinking ship. Yeah. Um, but I suppose their thinking is like they've spent this... These transfer payments are once-off payments. And if they can get players in, good players in on low wages... Yeah, they can essentially like do a reset. Um, having said that, according to Capology dot com, Lewandowski is on three hundred and sixty thousand a year. Three hundred and sixty thousand a year. That's or three hundred and sixty thousand a week. Sorry. Yeah, that makes so much more Eighteen point seven million a year. That's uh, so much money for a thirty-three year old for three uh. years. 
Yeah. So that comes that totals at fifty six million. Um, that's his. So he's the third highest paid player there, according to Capology dot com. Sergio Busquets is on four hundred twenty thousand a week. Jordi Alba is on four hundred thousand a week. Um. They re-signed Dembele, and I think he took a pay cut. He's now only on 264 Yeah. Mm. Frank Kessie's on 260 a week. Rafinha's on 240. If, if they, like, if Kessie manages to get registered. <laughs> well, they're still going to have to pay him that, whether he's registered yeah. or not. Um, Kessie and Rafinha are both signed to five-year deals on 260 and 240. Like, that's still quite a lot of it's money. a lot of money. Do you think they sell one of their uh, talented youngsters for a huge fee? You're talking about them selling someone already, weren't you? Uh, De Jong. De Jong. Um, um, TD, they've been trying to get rid of, but no one wants him. He's not that like, young, though, is he? Pedri or Gavi. Do you think they sell one of them? Um, I don't know. Like, what... I would have leaned towards no, but I don't think they should sell De Jong like, either. And like, yeah, I don't think that's up, but I think they could say to us, "All right, if we just put, just put it out there that we are willing to list the offers to either Pedro or Gavi, you probably get, I'd say, given their age, their talent level, bids of upwards of a hundred billion. I don't know if I got that high, given that neither of them are twenty yet. Um, That's the thing, like, just because they're like... high-upscale youngsters. Mm. But I think also that the issue is if you're going to sell a player like that, teams know that you need to sell them because of money. Yeah. So they're not going to offer you like over a hundred million. Unless they don't think they need to sell them and they're just kind of yeah. just seeing... Um, so like if if a team were to come in and make a bid then yeah but if Barcelona are offering them out yeah. clubs then there's no way they're getting that much money I don't think yeah. either of them I don't think they sell either of them this window I think they're they can probably like squeak in under the cap maybe no I assume they're owning absolutely patents for Barcelona anyway yeah, I think... Because uh, they're academy players. Oh, yeah. Fair. Gavi apparently is on 4000 a week. 210000 yeah. a year. So it's on. Um, Pedri is on 180000 a week. About $9 That's million something. a year. Um... Those two, though, uh, Pedri's is unverified, according to uh -huh. Apology. It has uh, green check marks. Uh, Gavi, the ones, it's, it's uh, verified. thing here, it says Gavi two months ago rejected a Barcelona contract. Hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. So what's... This two months ago. When's his current contract over? Uh... Trying to find that now. Because, I mean, if it's... Oh, uh... June 2023, according to Transfermarkt. In so, which case, yeah, they so probably should try and... Um, try and change him. Uh, I mean, you won't get the full amount for him because teams know he's got a year left, but... Yeah, I, but you might get, you something, get for him. something for him. You don't want to lose him on a free... And if he won't sign a contract, then yeah, ship him out. I'm seeing reports that Liverpool were eyeing him up. I don't know a huge amount about is. him, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to... The only thing I remember I, I heard of Gabby really was, but it's false rumours was, it was his mob that PK slept with. <laughs> That was apparently just started by a, a some a Spanish person. comedian um, as a joke, and then was taken up by tabloids <laughs> and stuff. Apparently, um, 
Yeah. Like, when you look at the financial situation in Barcelona, it's unsurprising that they're still interested in a Super League. Um, no, yeah, Super League is 100% their reason for doing it. <laughs> I think I just killed a fly. <laughs> what? Sorry, he's been hovering around my screen and I think I fucking caught him. Um, Yay. With what? With your hand? My hands, I clapped. Caught him between Fair my play. hands. Didn't hear that. Is there, is there gunk on your hand? Oh, there's a... I found him. Yeah, he's dead. I got him. Well, death really does come to us all, I guess. I'm pretty proud of yeah, that. Yeah, by uh, Oshin. Um, but anyway, he's been annoying me literally for the last half hour. Because <laughs> I forgot to turn the light on in my room, so the only light is coming from the screen in front of me, and he just keeps hovering around it. <laughs> and uh, I fucking caught him. That's what matters. Just potting in the dark. <laughs> yeah, potting in the dark. The dream. <laughs> We've um, gone from it's too hot to podcast to yeah, potting yeah. in the dark. <laughs> Too dark to podcast. But yeah, so it's it's unsurprising that they're looking at still a Super League. Because um, they need to Yeah. Work. Any chance that they challenge Real this year? I think they tower? will challenge. I still think they'll challenge. I mm. think they have a... They have, see, we're not down. They have a serious amount of talent. It's mm. the financing the talent is the problem. Yeah. Hmm. It will be interesting to see if, if they do get any hit with anything. Because if they do oh. go into administration, there's no way that they'll relegate them, I assume. Well, they if they to. go into administration, they don't have an owner to bail them out, so... Yeah. We're going to kill I think they're, I think they'll... I don't think they will go into administration. They've made, you know, moves that I think will keep them up. Um, yeah, fair. These moves can't last forever, but if it continues. Yeah, and I mean, they have had the highest interest payments um, in Europe, I think, of any football club in Europe. I think I saw uh, they had something like 41 million euros last year mm-hmm. in just interest on loans. Yeah. Um, which is insane money. It is funny when you think about it that, what was it, four or five years ago when Neymar left for 200 million that they've gone to this position? Yeah. Is it a case of having too much money that they just went, well, they started, we don't have to worry about that anymore? And then they went, I just because I remember, I think, yeah, there was moves they made that just made no sense at all for the wages when they traded, yeah, tra- uh, trade is the correct term. Can't even remember who the youngster was they sold to Juventus for oh, Pjanic. Oh, bringing Pjanic. <laughs> yeah, that made no sense. And then Pjanic just hardly played. They were like, yeah, could you we get rid of this guy? <laughs> um, Arthur. Arthur, yes. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, they... Sp- then they've also signed some fantastic flops. Um, Ada Turan. They signed Coutinho, um, who yeah. looked, left Liverpool because he wanted to oh, the Champions yeah. League. Uh, they then sent Coutinho on loan to Bayern Munich, and Coutinho participated in the was it eight two trashing? Yeah, Do you mm. um, and won a Champions great. League with Bayern, and then they sent him back to he's gone. To Villa now for twenty million. Um, Pjanic, you said. Do you still have his Champions Dembele. League clause? I don't Dembele. know. Uh, they signed, yeah, Dembele, who was Dembele. constantly injured. Um, yeah. They've re-signed him now to a, a cheap error contract. I mean, yeah, they've just. I don't know. It's it's not been great. They've not made good business decisions either on or off the pitch. Anton Griezmann. Let's yes. not forget him. Oh, yeah. Anton Griezmann. They said Don Griezmann. Is it? Who the fuck's Don? 
then sent him back on loan to Atletico. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's just a bit of a sh- shit show. Yeah. Uh, and they just are. They're spending huge money. So, in five years' time, do you think the situation will improve, deteriorate, or be the same? I think... Um... I don't think it'll be the same. Uh, it's hard to say whether it'll improve or deteriorate because they're the moves Five they're making now. Time. The moves they're making now are gambles. Uh, like they could pay off and things will improve, but they could also just go to the shit. Just five years time is just shitting on Barcelona. Twenty seven. Where is the money coming from? There's no. I don't think there's any in between. Like they're either going to um, these moves that they're making are either going to pay off and they'll be completely fine within a year or two or it's just going to keep mm. getting worse but then all right so say you know when they're selling their tv deals and all that right yes it's part of their tv deals yeah yes. yes and then if for instance they're selling part of the TV, do they run the risk that other clubs will then catch up to them financially when those tv revenue monies come in and say for instance there's a boom in their tv deal Fifteen percent would need to be a lot of money, but yeah. Then again, they're still getting eighty-five percent of it, so it's. I don't think they've sold enough for that to be. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, too much of a worry. Yeah. It's an interesting move, though. I don't know if anyone's done it before. So we'll see where they go from there. Which, yeah, I think it's going to be an interesting season for them. Um. Do you think they'll uh, do a better show in the Champions League this year, or? I doubt it, to be honest. Uh, I I just saw here, guys, for our podcast first business opportunity. Liverpool are considering raising funds by flocking the naming rights to the upgraded stand. I don't know. The band. The good, the bad, and the mic stand. The mic stand. You know, I feel I like it. Only <laughs> only when the Saudi money comes in. <laughs> that's it that's it what do we do with the Saudi money what a stand incredible stuff um mm. alright I mean I, does anyone else have any more thoughts on Barcelona or will we just wrap it up no no I think we're I think we're about done till what two weeks two hopefully when's our next Get up, Barcelona. Um, That's if Ocean survives hungry. Yeah. I mean, look, it can't be that bad. It'll be fine. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> All right. Let's wrap it up there. Um, yeah. Thanks for listening. Fuck the system. And feed the algorithm. Have a good one.